live? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. I'm your host, CP. This is the CP Podcast, the podcast where we talk about the shit CP want to talk about. Uh, and you know the rules, man. If you don't want to talk about shit I want to talk about, you are free to fucking leave. You know what I'm saying? But if, but if you in here with us, then you a real one. And we know you a real one because you rocking with the realest podcast out here right now. And to my right, uh, a night in the fight to get to the bottom of what's right. Pause. You can't say shit like that I, to the bottom of it. Like you're trying to get to the ass of what's right. Like give me that just right ass. So yeah, we don't want to say that. Uh, Maya is in the building. What's up, people? Uh, Roman and Tony, please give us the update. I shouldn't fantastic. have to ask at this point, but please give us the Roman and Tony update. They're fantastic. Nice. Oh, Tony and Roman. That sound like that sound like a noodle company or. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and Roman Roman. Tony, and, you know what I'm saying? Tony and Roman uh, Roman. Oh man, that'd be lit. Or uh, just a dog ass uh, moving company, right? Like they come in and move your shit, or uh, just two two motherfuckers for come beat your ass for real. Like, uh, <laughs> is that what you want? Do you want Tony and Roman to come down here? Come on, man, chill out, man. You ain't got to do all that. And then the mirror is in the building. What up, a mirror with the gray shirt on? Yeah. How you feeling, man? Terrible. Oh, man. Yeah, Mira. <laughs> no, I didn't I'm know good, what you were going to say, man. Mira was telling us, hey, you know what? Everybody in the chat, what do you do when your sinuses start messing up? Because that's what we were just talking about in here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sinus drip is terrible. Oh, and it's a, it was a slow build, too, because I was fine Friday. Uh, yeah, your nose ever, ever be so stopped up, she'd be like, man, throw some cocaine in my shit. <laughs> I feel like I make it run more. <laughs> <laughs> Like you wanted to fuck your nose up because you want to be stopped up, bitch. I got something for you. But nah, I'm just saying. That's crazy. I was telling him to get a humidifier and put some lemon essential oil in it. That's what I do. Mm. Lemon essential oil. What is that? Because I feel like, okay, here's what I know. If I come in your house and you got Glade plugins plugged up, I got to get the fuck out of there. Really? Why? <laughs> I cannot be around Glade plugins. Glade plugins, like, immediately made me sick and it's something about them that I'm like no I cannot I can't fuck with no Glade plug like if you got Glade plugins I gotta just you know what I'm saying like, like, like put it like this my friends who have them I just politely ask them to just like yo can you just unplug them while I'm here man like, I get mm-hmm. it your house smells fucking delicious I get it but can you please pull the Glade plug I cannot fucking do it man so somebody said boil some water with eucalyptus and then hell that uh, it's gonna bring out some nasty shit but it works so look uh, that was Tiffany Alexandra said that. Peep this. I, I agree with that. And if you mix some eucalyptus in that machine that we were just talking about, that Mr. Machine that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That. Also, I just thought about it. That machine, have you seen that um, that Navage, that Navage machine? It's like 100 bucks. You get it from like CVS. It got a tank of water. It's, it's it, it like blow water up one nostril and then it suck it out the other nostril. Now Is that I'm like t- the neti pot thing? Yeah, it's kind of like a neti pot, but it's like an electric neti pot. So it's like you ain't got to do all that leaning back. It's, it has the force to do it for you. Bro, when I tell you I was scared to use that shit, and it come with these little saline packs so that the water don't like burn the inside of your head. Yeah, because you, you're supposed to use that kind of water, not... Just regular water. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like saline style water. Bro, when I tell you, which one is it? Which one is it? This one? No, so that's a neti pot. That's a but, neti pot, yeah. But go to like the Navage. Navage? Is that like a fancy neti pot? Somebody said they gave, uh, Dejanay said they gave her a headache. Man, that shit felt so refreshing. There it is. Man, I was like, what the fuck? I ain't never felt no shit like that inside of my <laughs> head. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm rocking with that. Bro, I have I'm seen, telling you. I have seen videos of this one, though. Bro, look, I'm telling you right now. Like the shit that came out was crazy. That shit put it, it. It took. I just yeah yeah. Look at where her shit came out. It was like it was like unblue snot. It was like snot that thought that you didn't snot. It was like snot that has you fucked up and you had to call some reinforcements to go in there. That shit is crazy, bro. That shit feels so weird, man. Like it's like because it's like cooler than your body, so it's like sending cool water. But it ain't cold though. But you don't want to send no hot shit up there and burn the inside of your shit. That'd be fucked up. You'd just be smelling ribs for like two weeks. <laughs> That's crazy as hell. But that shit, bro, I'm telling you, man, you ain't get that nose really cleaned out. Ugh, it's like a nose drink. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to see all these motherfuckers snot. Look at Diddy doing one. Oh my God. Uh, Diddy, Diddy was like, man, I had a crazy party last night. Yeah, don't click on Diddy shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
But yeah, she said it works for a show. Yeah, I feel you work for me too. Uh, all right. Take these glasses off, man. Shout out to the meta glasses, man. I'm trying these bitches out, doing shit. I got some crazy footage, but uh, you know, oh man, I'm just be hurting my eyes because I don't really wear glasses. Mm. Yeah, so it's like, what am I doing? You know, what's going on though? Well, we're gonna talk about this last week, but it's really, really serious. What? I, I didn't want to think about it. Is it Anunnaki? No. Oh. Remember we talked about this lady at the eclipse? Oh, this is something that I feel like if you're a conspiracy theorist podcast, you got to touch on this, right? So this young lady was a super duper conspiracy, almost, what do you call him? She was influencer? A, spir- a spiritualist. A spiritualist. A spiritual but influencer. Not, yeah, but she was a spiritual influencer. influencer, but she was to the next <laughs> level. She, you know... And so she believed that the that the eclipse was about to bring all of this new freshness and power and wanted everybody to like rejoice and she flipped the fuck out. And it's sad. Like she ended up killing her boyfriend, right? Killed her partner. Killed her, killed her, killed her guy. And then was driving around crazy and ended up putting her two little girls out on the freeway, pulled off, hit one of them. Uh, the one of them, the baby died on the freeway, got hit. That's crazy. What the fuck is this? Because she out there feeling like the eclipse is about to change the world. Meantime, she's dead too, right? Yeah, yeah. She afterwards, she started driving crazy, like over 100 miles an hour through streets that she should have been driving through because she could have killed somebody else. Right. But then she killed herself, crashed into a tree, killed herself. Yeah. And, and shit happened to the eclipse. Like nothing happened except for she dead. She's dead. Oh, can you imagine dead. being dead and feeling stupid? That's the worst. You just did like, ooh, what, what? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, everybody, you just dead and feeling dumb as hell. That's the real post nut clarity right there. Uh, for real. Nigga, what? That's, that's, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. I was bullshitting. Like, why would you? What's the point? Like, if nothing else, just see what the <laughs> fuck is about to happen. The solar eclipse of 2024 did not bring an apocalypse. Duh. And look at her. A microphone and a bullhorn. Well, there's a lot of people that she's retweeting because a lot people just have fun with this. Some people just have fun with this. And there are some people out there that are more susceptible to it. So a lot of these people that she's retweeting, Dr. Naomi Wolf, um, this other guy, Q the Storm. I wonder if that's it. It's probably a QAnon thing. It's, they're retweeting it, and they're just having fun going about their day. And now, How you know they're having person, fun about going about their day? They might be dead, too. They're not. Dr. Naomi Wolf. She used to be a respectable person. She used to be. Then what happened? She started, she started YouTube. doing shit for the internet. <laughs> yeah. Whenever oh, you start doing stuff for the internet, it, you chase the algorithm. Hell yeah. They, she's she, she trying to get a couple of dollars. That's wild, man. But now today, Amir showed me this thing. So this guy, he's called Trey Melvin. You heard of Trey Melvin before? Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, he been on the internet for dumb long. Yeah, okay, but what do he do now? So he used to go to her as a spiritualist. Who? Trey Melvin used to go to the lady. She he won't even say her name. He calls her the host. Because he says she is hosting some really bad energies. And she was doing all the spiritual work for all of these people. And then he left her, Trey Melvin left her, when he found out she was dabbling in black magic. So this was long The same before woman this. that killed herself. Yeah. And the same woman, that, that woman. Yeah. Wow. So he Ayoka. said- Aoka. Don't say her name. Ooh, am I dying to fuck it up? He, I don't he even know if that's a name. real name. I, I don't Ooh. know. Ooh. So, you don't know her personally, so you should be all right. Yeah, yeah you're probably man. fine. Fuck, yeah. it. <laughs> fuck it, bring Candyman to help me. <laughs> her and Candyman can fight, fight it out. But um, so he said that he, him and his best friend, Kathy, who is now dead, um, they left her and she cursed him, cursed them. And now Kathy is dead because they had an accident. Him and Kathy were in an accident after this happened. 
And Kathy died in the accident. He says that the three other cars involved in the accident, the police could never locate them. And he almost died. He got a brain injury. And Kathy died in this accident. It was he Kathy. Said, was his it was best his friend, friend deceased. Who also went and got like spiritual teachings from her as well. Once they caught whiff of her doing some weird stuff like, you know, throwing dirt on other people, put, trying to put curses on folks, they just like, we're out. And uh, I guess she got them too. So you're involved in a really bad car accident. So what you got to do is sit there and wait and see if her spells work. If her spells work, then we got to figure something else out. We ain't finna just dip. This, this bitch got real spells. So like, wait a minute. Let's see if one of the spells work. Oh, she puts it. You know, she cool. Bam. Now you're going to have to kill her, bro. And here go the thing. How many people like this get killed and we and we and we send the killer to prison because we thinking that they like people be fucking crazy. And sometimes you kill their ass and then now you people looking at you because they dead and they can't act crazy no more. It's like, no, nah, bitch, look crazy while you dead. <laughs> so I so I could, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, that's the that's the trip you out part. Like, dog, some people deserve to get killed. You can't even kill a motherfucker no more because when once they dead, automatically they innocent. Well, she did to herself. So what they say is when you dabble any kind of magic, if you believe in that, if mm -hmm. you believe in witchcraft, sorcery, or whatever, in the Western world, uh, if whatever you send out, you get back threefold. So it's the law of three, the rule of three. So apparently she's sending out a lot of dark stuff because what she did and what happened to her family is the worst thing that could happen. Mm. So nevertheless, like he... And he goes into this. He says he's a former Christian. Damn, threefold. Her, her dude, and the kid. Yeah, and she did it. Damn. And the the, the kid, this is why I don't really want to talk or think about this, because the way the baby died was too much. The baby didn't do anything. Right. So at least you could say of her partner. What did the partner do? Choose to be with her? You got to be, you got to protect. But also you have to be spiritually aware. I mean, but, uh, you know, one thing I noticed is that, you know, like, they talk about women who be, like, uh, making, like, fucked up spaghetti to trap men, yeah. and men be, like, <clears throat> just under they spell, and they don't know it, and so now they just, like, don't know why they want to put up with this weak-ass bitch and this, this weird-ass woman <laughs> and this crazy-ass woman, and it's just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know... As a single man in my lifetime, before I met my beautiful wife, I remember like being around certain women who just energy was crazy, like ugh, like like evil. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that like when you when you talk about getting intimate with people, you see a different side of their whole life because now it's the butt naked, quote unquote, truth, and it's just a little different. Like people be like evil and you can see it like damn people people are really like fucked up you know what i'm saying even you know like i don't know like it's certain certain kinks even reflect trauma to me you'd be like damn bitch for real punch me you'd be like whoa you know what i'm saying like do you feel what i'm saying like some shit is like i guess you could be freaky as you want to be but it's like understand that a lot of that type of shit if you're not just flat out like that, that's like trauma response. Like some shit, you'd be like, man, all right, bitch, this ain't even cute. Like what happened to you? Well, also, how do you know she's not going to go with bruises on her face and be like, he punched me. And yes, you punched her. Now it's your word against hers. Like anyone, any man in their right mind is not going to punch a woman during sex because what if you hurt her? What you mean in their right mind? Because that she could go to the police and be like, he punched me. And you did. And now it's your word against hers. But you know how hard it is to make women come sometimes? And if she's saying, socking her in the back of the head is going to pull her over the top, you're going to blow that bitch shit out. Poof! What you think? Ah! 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 And you be like, yeah, bitch, I told you what it was. And then she go to the police. Like, you be like, officer, she busted crazy nut. And then what you do is you take her ass into court. You be like, your honor, exhibit A. And you sock her ass in the back of the head again. And she start busting like, uh, 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 uh. Like, your honor. They'd be like, order, 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 order. This case is dismissed. This bitch a freak. <laughs> <laughs> this case is dismissed. This bitch is a freak. So do you think those women are the ones that are trying to cast love spells on people? 
Absolutely. Hold on. Somebody said, Mika said, sweating in their rice. What? The spaghetti one's worse. The spaghetti is period. Yeah. Period blood in a spaghetti, quote unquote, for what I hear. Yeah. But sweating in a rice, though? There's all kinds of different traditions. I think more so than that, because well, that is a body bodily fluid. And it's a bodily pheromone. Fluid, yeah. Well, not even just that. If you're going to go, if you're doing this and don't. I'm listening because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I just want to know what not to fucking eat anymore. Go ahead. If you're gonna if you're gonna do that, like a, a bodily fluid like that might work. It's also um, I don't know if everybody who practices necessarily needs to get to that extent because it's about exerting the emotion and the vision. So I imagine advanced practitioners, if you believe in these kind of things, would be able to do it without a direct bodily fluid. But I also believe some people might be doing that if you believe in it without even realizing that they're doing it. They just have a very um, here's, here's, forceful here, will. Here's what I'll say. And I think that women who do that are just as bad as guys who roofie women and rape women. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, see, the thing is that our power is our power, right? The power that we hold you know, like your power of attorney, that's a big deal, right? Like that's a power, right? Like the power that you hold, the power that you hold as the woman is the key to sex. That's cool. The power that I hold as a man is the key to my attention, my adoration, and me exerting my power and strength to feed, protect, and provide for you. If you trap me into that, mm. Or take that away from me without it being my choice. You're no different than a dude who roofies a woman. Well, this is why people say a love spell is white magic, but it's not. It's black magic because, like you just said, it interferes with someone's free will. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to do that. Exactly. That's like, so you're talking about like, you know, women who get date raped, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, or women who get like, uh, you know, guilted into sex. Well, I, I flew you here. I bought you this. Women try to like that. It's it's the same thing because I think that what's crazy is that it's more disgusting and more frowned upon for a man to um to 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 like ferociously no holds barred uh look for sex, but like women who ferociously no hold barred try to trap and seek out commitment is crazy. It's like, dog, that's not your choice. That nigga don't have to stay with you. He don't have to like you after y'all fuck. He doesn't. Like, your pussy might not be the best pussy, and that's not up to you to even determine. Like, women be like, yeah, we fucked and he left. But it never come off like, dog, but it was whack, and he did not like you. And it's like, but but that fact is almost like not even thought about. But But the reciprocal Bitch, I gave you some dick. You supposed to be able to. And she like, nigga, that nobody give a fuck about. It's like, these are the, it's just crazy how like women always, especially women who are feminists, always throw that double standard role on times where things don't benefit them or times where things may seem unfair to them. But the biggest double standards in our society always are going to benefit the weak and the and the helpless and that's always gonna women are always gonna make sure that they they and the kids fall into that category so it's always gonna be a double standard when you say well you know what i'm saying like certain things that come to that like men are just left out of and we just got to be like fuck it it is what it is yeah you got the lifeboat last yeah women and children first right and but it's like it's not good women and your children it's women. Just all women. All women, all women and, and all, all children. children. It's yeah. like, dog, that's crazy. That's why, like, if a girl says a baby is yours, but the baby is not yours, but you signed a birth certificate, you're still responsible for the kid. Which is That's fucking up. sick. That's really messed up. Because there's nothing that a man could do that would make a woman have to unknowingly take a responsibility like that. There's nothing that we could do. And so when you look at it, it's like, man, like, who started this men ain't shit, women ain't shit? Like, most of the ain't shit is shit. Well, That's the most detrimental could be done by women. Um, So they did paternity fraud. It, 
if you're scared of it, it's not as high as people think. So they said um, international da da da. So this is around two percent of British fathers are unknowingly raising a child who is not theirs, and then it goes differently around the world. And that's the number I've I've seen. First of all, it's high. Maya, the whole point is that if it were in the data then it would not be a secret. And then like it's way higher than any number that they Now think. they have like uh, 23 and me and they have yeah, the genealogy. But that's, but so that's, like, like, that's so uh... after the fact. No eight-year-old is going, I'm going to do a 23 and me. Like you got time before you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, come on, man. Well, I need to, just looking I wish, back on it. I'm going to start making up wikis before I come in here. And then I'm going to be like, hey, pull up. Uh, and then my point will be up there. And I'm going to be like, see? And my, like, oh, well, yeah, clearly that's what the data says. Because no, this is yeah, they they've gone through the DNA and stuff. Duh, do you not see the three this? Per, three to Maya, five come on, duh. This like, isn't wiki. This th is something else. I know, but I'm just saying. But it doesn't matter though. Like the whole point is to fool the man, and the yeah. women are all on the same side, even though they might be disgusted by it. Just like the men are all on the same side, even though men might be like, oh man, it's like, duh, I don't like how that nigga did her. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you understand it. You might be. Uh, civilized enough to go against the impulse, but you know what the fuck is going on. And it's like, that's why you're a man and that's a woman. And it's like, no, dog, society is not going to let the truth about that be out here so that women could be embarrassed. Nothing about society is ever going to let women be humiliated. But like this that. is DNA stuff. So here, here's the thing. This 3 to 5% actually goes kind of along the lines of the number of people in our society who are psychopaths. No, those are the ones. Oh, my God. So that, oh, the, the, my about God. About 5% or about 4% sociopath, psychopath. So that's what you actually have to watch out for. These are wolves in sheep's clothing. Right, and okay. women, women as well. Okay, I apologize because I didn't know where you were going with yeah. that. And I gave you a very dramatic, oh, my God. You did. And it didn't even warrant that because no, I see what you're saying. No, it didn't. So, there's, I mean, a, there's a certain amount of motherfuckers that's crazy. All I'm saying is... They just have no feelings. Right. But once again, like, they have no feelings and are very, very manipulative. Would you say that? Yes. Uh, They're good so at manipulative, it. Charming. So manipulative that maybe only 3 to 5% of them are actually getting caught up and being identified as this, while the other 60% that is really out here for real are so smart with how insane and crazy they are, that they could easily pass whoever the fuck this is a uh, test about how many well, this sociopaths. Is this is DNA. Right, but I'm saying like sociopaths is like, oh, like that's the whole point. The very, very good ones are not even going to fall into this rubric. No, the sociopath, uh, psychopath, that is a subset. That's a, a certain type of personality. Right, but, but... But, and there are certain, there are assholes that aren't psychopaths, sociopaths. Uh, a psychopath really does not have the feelings. And Imagine, now, there's a general asshole, you know, that's just that. Assholes be having, assholes just be needing a hug or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, got they be stuff. swearing they, that, that they sociopaths to the sociopath walk in the room and they be like, whoa, buddy needs to relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, like bro, you just an asshole, man. Shut up. But no, I feel what you're saying, though. And uh, yeah, but, and they but, say that it's more uh, likely men are sociopaths or psychopaths than women, but I think women just... Who said that? They said that? Because they always say some shit that's going to make, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, put it like this. The men that know are the men that know. So they aren't going to be the target, but the men that don't know and, and who are susceptible to this kind of programming are being programmed to be deeming themselves inferior and it's like it's it's happening so slightly and women are enjoying the spike in the woman power that they're not even acknowledging the fact that the men are becoming more and more bitch ass because it's helping them be dope. I don't know if uh, women actually want bitch ass men. Oh, they don't. It, it's not most that women, women. Listen, it's not that women don't want bitch ass men. It's that they don't want bitch ass men more than they don't want to not ever be the secondary citizen again. Like, it's almost like the men that built this country were naive to think that women were going to stay the sidekick. Like, the second that a woman could step out and be in the front, all of them was like, hell, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then it became like, the issue is making men think that they're dumber than women, making men think that they're more susceptible to shit like this is a part of the programming that's keeping men 
docile into this society because they don't talk about like what are you talking about like there's no postpartum for men there's like that's a we didn't have a a baby exactly but but that's a baked in mental disorder that comes with having a baby and all these women are having babies and some of them are doing crazy shit to their babies and blaming on postpartum and then so it's like men don't have that but it's like you, we we would never see the amount of women who's postpartum. Like we would never see that on a on a on a on a chart where it's like you know what I'm saying. It's like what I'm trying to say to you is that if you niggas are 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 are, are stupid enough to fall for this kind of programming, then you got to take whatever this world want to give a bitch ass nigga. Okay. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I, I'm just telling you. I think you're projecting onto the. W- the qualities of the worst women onto all women. No, because it's that's not like that. women who project the Listen, worst qualities no, of men onto all Maya, men. And I hear you. But what I'm saying is that the worst women are the women that are in charge. The worst men are the men that are in charge. The that that goes along with the psychopath theory, the sociopath theory. Because uh psychopathic and um yeah, psychopathic men aren't always serial killers. Sometimes they're surgeons. Sometimes they're fighter pilots. Mm-hmm. They can turn off their emotions. Sometimes they're 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 police CEOs. officers. A lot of times they're police officers. Sometimes. And sometimes they could even be a police officer. But sometimes they go above and beyond and you're like, oh my God, that man is amazing. He's like Every a superhero. Every now and then, all the time, they'd be police officers. Yeah. I mean, you go one in 50. Yeah. And I mean, you know, they also be police Ma- officers. Maybe firemen one in 25. And police firemen, officers. Um, firemen actually are more liked because- Compassionate. Yeah, because they're yeah. actually just helping people. No right. one hates firemen. Right. Oh, yeah. Except for the ones that go into a house knowing that there's black kids in there and just let them burn in there. When did this- uh, Yeah, when did it happen? <laughs> I mean- When I, did it happen? But it's it's not it's not a common thing that happens. I mean- Because there are a lot of black firemen, too, that are right. just helping everybody. Yeah. I mean, damn it, Maya. I think you're suspicious of people. No, Maya. You don't trust it's, the it's good just in like, people. Man, I don't know. Some some of us went to Disneyland and was like, Mickey and Minnie really live here. And then others of us was like, it's a nigga who smokes cigarettes inside of Minnie right now. I've never been to Disneyland. I don't ever will go. Yeah. But I'm not going to let the 2% of people who are horrible taint my view of all of humanity. I mean, I it's, it, but it. it's not about tainting your view. But unfortunately, it does taint your view. But your view needs to be tainted. I think that, um, n- like, to brighten your view should be a mm-hmm. cinch, right? Like, you should be a soft enough person to where, in order to brighten your view, like, you don't need hella evidence of something that can brighten your view. But to, but like, we give humanity a lot of chances. But I mean, we, as you grow older, that's the reason why most of us become having less and less faith in what's going on and how people really feel about us because I mean you could get on TikTok and scroll for two minutes and you would see two things that you've been eating your whole life that all of a sudden are fucking killing you. You'd be like really? You know what I'm saying? And it's like man so I mean that let you know right there man like you know we are all waking up as a society and I think that I think that Something is going on. I think that the black aliens are on their way back. Somebody told me uh, at one of my shows, they pulled me to the side. I was like, I love the podcast. They told me to tell you and Amir what's up. They, they, they said that they love the podcast. That they they want to remain nameless. They were in the, in uh, in a relationship with a person that was in the military. Mm-hmm. And they said that like even back in the 90s, uh, they talked about Project Blue Bean. They, he, uh, this person said that they know for a fact that we have a peace treaty with over 117 different species of beings. That's what they say. Eisenhower signed it. Like. That's like, what they say. I, you know, right. people, that's what they say. I don't know for a fact. Um, which goes in hand in hand with my moon based theory, which is the moon is the, the other world. Like, like the moon is like a, um, the moon is like Costco for the fucking, for this little part of the galaxy Mm. and, and, and all different species are there and they're trading, believe it or not, your, your kids out here getting fucking abducted and killed and shit like that. They are taking them like back in the day, they were sacrificing people to what? Like we keep saying it was to God. The, the various gods and they still right. do. But, they still do. But 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 imagine if they were coming to get their sacrifice and that part of the the of the 
the imagery of it and that part of the verbiage was was left out like what it sounds like and they they harvest a lot of body parts a lot of energy all kind of little shit like that and uh the government knows about it they they can take a certain amount of people a year to do whatever they need to do eat them whatever and people know about this i just want to say one thing to go back to and this the is point. all theory because i ain't trying to get killed I if i do get one... killed fuck it then i ain't got paying no bills no more uh, that you can get caught up in cynicism and nihilism just as easily that you can get caught up in uh, having rose-colored glasses. So I don't feel I have rose-colored glasses, but I also understand the um, dangers of cynicism. What's cynicism? It's just thinking that everyone's trying to trick you, thinking the worst of everybody, mm -hmm. and that is also a trap. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. I think that um, all of it is, is, a, is, is a distraction from you having a harmonious life. Right. And I think that there is a war for our attention and our energy. And I mean, think about it. There are, you know, our, our grandparents passed away never knowing about none of the shit that we're learning about. You'd be shocked. Uh, what you mean? The turn of the century, the 1900s, there was a, a massive spirituality movement. No, I'm talking about the shit that we know of today, like with AI and. You know what I'm saying? Like things that like, oh, like. Oh, but they didn't have the technology. I see what you mean. They yeah. didn't have the technology. They didn't have the the widespread information being able to be shared so quickly. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it wasn't like a like a common collective of this is how we're going to find our um thing, you know, our information and we all can discuss it. No, some people knew some shit because they had to. That knowledge, the knowledge is older than we are. So, of course, there were people who knew. Yeah. But it was so hard to share that information. And so the second that the information began to be able to be shared, they flooded it with misinformation because that was the thing. So mm -hmm. for every 300 YouTube videos that you see, you might see 45 seconds of truth, like straight up unadulterated truth. And, that, and that's up to you. And it also depends if you think that uh, the YouTube algorithm has its foot on the scale. Oh, my God. My everything is controlled. Like, you know, trust me, if they know when you play a fucking uh, Rich the Kid song on your video to demonetize it in seconds, your content is being monitored at an all time high. That's interesting. Yeah. Like, they're not going to let you be a problem. They're not going to let you be the person that comes in and wakes people up for real. You know what I'm saying? Like all those whistleblowers who keep getting snatched up and eliminated, like they're saying too much. But what they're saying is so important. Them little bits of truth is 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 all people need to kind of step back and reevaluate some things if you're smart enough. And if not, then you they they already got you. So you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, there's throughout history stuff has been added. If you're talking about spiritual knowledge. There are places in the world where it's much more common or was previously, like Romania. Mm -hmm. Like that is like a den of witchcraft. And they have a different understanding of spirituality than we do. In the Western world, any kind of witchcraft, any kind of spirituality comes from the devil. So if you're talking Western Christianity, what this lady was doing and what that guy said that um, so he calls her the host, I'll call her the host. Mm -hmm. um, what the host was doing. Can we see what he said? My bad. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see. I but, but, I don't know ahead. if it's gonna be. Um, it's long. Because <clears throat> it's three. It's, it's a, like a three part. TikTok it's a three parter. Thing. And are we gonna get uh, nicks for it on the copyright or what? I don't know. I we doubt run it. it on the Patreon. If you haven't joined the Patreon, you might need to do that. So we're gonna go with what Trey Melvin says. And he is a former Christian. Now, if you are a Christian, you have a framework from which to defend yourself. But he's a former Christian, so I wonder if... I'm not saying it's better or worse. I'm just saying Christianity has a built-in framework. He like this nigga I went to college with. He was little as hell. He was like a little bitty buff nigga, but he was like mad short. I ain't gonna say the nigga name, but if you went to state, you remember this nigga. All right, man. You know how some shit just make you feel like, man, I'm being nosy, because I kind of don't even give a fuck, for real. It's like... All right, man. Let's just let's just talk about something else, dog. This is this is like, it's like, dog. It's like it's like watching a scary movie, but it's real, and it's like, bro, why why are we doing this? Like, I just want to point out, if anyone's afraid of this. Oh no, I'm not afraid of it. No, no, no. It, it you raise a good point. It's a a good point that we should uh, tell people that if you feel 
you have any sort of uh, uh, demonic in, uh, infestation, uh, not necessarily, there's, there's different levels to it. Um, shadow people or whatever, one, the more you believe, the more susceptible you become. So believe less and just go outside, do, do some exercise, you'll be okay. But if you still think that something's happening, Psalm 23 is apparently the best way to ward these things off. So just say it and go on about your business, you'll be fine. But I want to say this too, though, because I think that's a common misconception in my head. People say, the less you believe, the less it goes away. No, the more you are oblivious, the more that you don't, the second you become aware, you now need protection, period. Yeah. Like, like it's not about you believing in like, it's like, whatever. No, it's like the second you become aware, because you could live your life and never encounter this, never encounter the knowledge of this, never encounter. The second you become aware that something is in, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody's trying to attack you, you automatically, you are, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you should be like, like it's like saying like people should hate you or you should just go on about your day and not even think about it and don't care. Like you in traffic. Be me, move, bitch, move. It's over. But people dwell in it and start trying to, you know, it's 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 more to it than you being believing that it ain't. Like if you feel like it is, it already is. Well, that's exactly it. it you do it to yourself. Like you can give yourself but you all don't kinds do of diseases. It to yourself. Well, yeah, okay, go okay, ahead. You can give yourself diseases and and things mm. like this. So if you are like, well, that's not real. And you believe it's not real. You genuinely believe it's not real. You're not say just saying that. Then you can move on your day because, like, think you know, guns conquered people that had a lot of witchcraft. And what was more powerful, the guns. And at the end of the day, that's all that mattered. But if you if that doesn't work, because for whatever reason you have a, you have a programming from when you're a kid, that's fine. Just say the Psalm 23 and go on about your day. Let me Either ask you a way. question. You ever wonder why it's AIDS commercials? for AIDS medicine, when it be like, if you got AIDS, then your doctor should just know what the medicines <laughs> is and talk to you that way. Mm -hmm. But why the fuck we all got to know about what your medicine called and have that in the back of our minds and our psyche? It's like, what is the point of that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, if you have uh, upper respiratory problems, then you know what albuterol is. Mm -hmm. You don't need an albuterol commercial. Because everybody don't need albuterol. You need albuterol when you have upper respiratory shit. And the re the hospitals know that. So you got this. Okay, you need this. It's all kind of medicines that don't require a commercial, right? But you start looking at, like, dog, don't ever forget that it's money in the treatment and not in the cure. It's the most prevalent thing when you see the commercial for the cure. Mm -hmm. That's like... Ask your doctor if this is right for you. I'm going to ask my doctor, like, why the fuck you ain't tell me about this if it is right for me? Because some people go and they ask your doctor to get more money. I don't know. We're only like us in one I'm other country in New Zealand just, can even advertise. Yeah. It just doesn't, I don't think people really understand what they're looking at when they look at prescription drug commercials. Because it's like, well, theoretically, if you have these symptoms, you go to the doctor. It's like, these commercials should be shown in medical school to medical students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like they should not be shown they to. They should not be shown to the whole public. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I, I I never understood that. Like, they got the little egg walking around because the egg is sad. But people are allowed to get sad. But if you watching the egg be sad and the egg need a Zoloft, now nah, you think you need a Zoloft to the point where you probably do need a Zoloft now because you didn't create it in your mind that you just as sad as this egg. And it's like, bro, like I don't think people understand the programming and the poisoning. That and how it goes hand in hand. So you're saying that these uh, pharmaceutical commercials are working some kind of witchcraft on the audience. Uh, how many water commercials do you see? Well, now that they have bottled water, you see. You see a few. I don't see a lot. What bottled water commercials do you see? Brita. Well, no, that's a water filter. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's just like, you know, that's different. That's like a that's a, a mechanism. You see like a Fiji ad every now and then. Uh, you might see, uh, I don't think I really see a lot of water commercials because they know that you're coming to get water. Mm -hmm. They they already got us right there, right? Like, um, like they don't give a fuck. They want Zoloft in every household. Like, that would be a win for them. Like, like they want Percocets in every household. 
Mm-hmm. That would be a win for them. Yeah, that song. Yeah, that Percocet. that song was Molly witchcraft. Percocet. Yeah, but no, but it that but, was casting but a spell it wasn't, on people. No, it wasn't casting a spell, and that's trippy because it might have been when you look at it like that. I didn't mean mm-hmm. to say no, then it might be, but no, that's that's just that is that is selective programming. Like, yeah, Future probably went platinum for that song, right? So then, like, can you look up how much money that you get for a million stream for a million? Um, you know, like how much does the artist get for a record to go platinum? Cause I'm about to fuck you up. A single, not even an album, just a single to go platinum. That's it. Exactly. <coughs> on Apple it's... Music is seven thousand dollars. On Title is twelve thousand dollars. Amazon Music is about four thousand dollars. And uh... YouTube seems to be the best. Spotify. Well, those numbers are different. Oh, they, I don't know what this is coming from. It's 2019. Happy Mag. What, is that? what what do you know about it, Amir? Because you, I mean, to go platinum, damn! How many streams do you need? They just told you up there, 150 million, 150 million streams. You only get paid like point zero 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 one cent. So it's one of those things you gotta kind of do the math. Not making a lot in that regard. So people what I'm telling you is this: the motivation for that single was not the money that you get for going platinum; it's the backdoor handshakes that you get from the pharmaceutical companies that say, "Guess what? Make this song about Percocet, it will give you 17 million." So now the song goes crazy; it gets put into the algorithm because there's money behind the song. Because you you you, you can put crazy money behind your song if you I put five hundred thousand behind a song to go crazy radio, crazy everything and then bro it's like that's if you understand it like i remember like when i worked in advertising uh i started knowing about product placement and right and so mm-hmm. like they would be like yeah so and so and then we got like uh this jeep to be in missy's video and it's like damn so y'all gotta pay her to put that jeep in their video yeah mm-hmm. and then and then i'm thinking about like yeah why the fuck would she want a goddamn jeep Wrangler in her goddamn video. Of course, they souped it up to look sweet, but it's like she could have had a Bentley, could have had anything. But it's like to center your brand around hip hop and to make it something that they do. It's just, it's just shit. It's just like these, these niggas are the new prescription drug commercials. Well, I mean, if you want to, if you want to get in someone's head. Make a rhyme, make a jingle, make a song but, that but gets I, right. in there. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about like the niggas who say, you know, it's hard to get lean. You can't get no lean. It's like, okay, well then, but now they know how to make it. It's like, that shit is like um, fucking Walter White, Breaking Bad type shit. Like, it just shows you like, man, it's so much more money in... Okay, so they get like, hold on. They start getting down to the gritty. So hold on, I just I just thought that YouTube get you hundred bands, Spotify get you six hundred and fifty five bands, and Apple Music get you another one point one million for going platinum. Right, so that's that. So you you know you you are gonna get a bag that way, but I guarantee you a bigger bag is coming from somebody partnering with these niggas to be like, hey, talk about Percocet, talk about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put Molly all on her champagne. She ain't even know it. Took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. Nigga. That's a felony. Nigga, but then you look up and these this, this the same nigga that be with Diddy. And that's the same thing that's in the fucking documents. That yeah, this bottles of champagne got drugs in them. These bottles don't. So they're giving these bottles to the underage girls. The underage girls is not knowing what the fuck is going on. This is what's coming out on the shit. I mean, that's when people say they have to tell you what they're doing. If you believe that, that the elites or the Illuminati, whatever, have to tell us what they're doing so that we can affirm it because they can't go against our free will. This is conspiracy talk, of course. Right. Because I'm saying like that. That's like I I wouldn't tell nobody that nigga. That's definitely a felony. But they made the song. Wow. But that's the thing, though. Just like Bill Cosby, when when Bill Cosby finally got caught up, he was like, all I did was give a couple of hoes of pills. And it's like because I think that the lines get blurred when you st- when you get so far down that path to being famous, you realize, or not even famous, just influential, because it's like politicians and all kind of shit. It's just the lines get blurred, right or wrong. It's like, what are you talking about? Until one day 
somebody slaps you with with the real right or wrong rubric and now your ass is sitting in jail. Jeffrey Epstein was probably like, what the fuck did I do to these people? Yeah, he... Uh... You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, all we do is snatch bitches up and fuck them on an island and keep them there. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Everybody's doing it. Oprah, you gonna really turn your back on? You know what I'm saying? Oh, president for real, nigga. You the main one with the bitches. Oh, the nigga in the wheelchair. You don't want to talk about it? You don't want to talk about how you be fucking them hoes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's crazy is that's why I, I talk about the Bible, how these motherfuckers gave us the Bible and then did everything that wasn't in it and had the life that they wanted while they wanted the masses to do everything that was in the Bible so that they could be controlled. Yeah. Well, there's also stuff that didn't make it in the Bible. There are stories that didn't make it in, and we have a certain type of Bible that we're supposed to be reading. And then, Mm. and it also depends. There's so much in it. You can find anything you want in there. Nevertheless, I do agree with the basic premise, uh, do unto others, because you put negative stuff out there, it's going to come back to you like this. the host found out. Mm. It comes back to you one way or other, whether it's karma, whatever you want to call it. Like that's that's coming back. You can't. That debt is going to get paid in this lifetime or the next. Yeah. So, what's crazy is how these conspiracies all tie in together, though, right? Because you know when you look at like, uh, you know, stuff like the music industry, then it's like selling your soul. Then it's the Illuminati. Then it's who do they worship for real? Like who is, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like spirits. Like you talk, you know, they were talking about how Diddy was astro projecting. Mm-hmm. That he, that he yeah, could come out that. of his body and run around and do damage to people. Or he could trap dead bot, dead souls to work for him still. So like imagine like Biggie just writing rhymes and he's dead and he can't even go nowhere because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's how it goes, but that's just where my mind goes. Like, man, he just trapped you dead. Like, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Write me a song. And he's dead. Like, uh, and another one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. You know? Yeah. I mean, like I said, Christianity is good because it does have a framework with which to deal with these things. And maybe you, you go to the next level and it has that framework because there are so many dedicated followers and just having that many people believe in something gives it power because we all have our individual power. So mm-hmm. if you pull it under one flag, then it has power. But nevertheless, uh, if you're worried about this, there is a framework. But, I mean, how fucked up is it that that treaty, though? That fucked me up. I'm surprised you hear about this. We didn't I talk mean, about but this. But I feel like I've heard about it before a little bit. But Like Eisenhower was like, yo, just leave us alone. You can have your thing. We're going to have our thing. And you will... According Let's look this to up. legend. Let's look this up. Please look up this treaty. Okay. My my algorithm probably thinks I'm nuts. All right, so this is one thing. We'll we'll, we'll bank this. This is from this is from the, the presidential library. This is the official. This is what? The Eisenhower Library doc of. He says he denies that he had contact with the UFOs. And I haven't had a chance to read over this. In Wait a minute, he denies it, but then this is like, like, a, like, a, like supposed to be like an account? It's in Eisenhower Library doc of. This is his presidential library. Uh, Schultz denies Eisenhower had contact with UFOs. So this this is what is contained in these boxes, box thirty four. Oh, okay. Claim that Eisenhower saw a UFO at Edwards Air Force Base. So I keep hearing a lot about Edwards Air Force Base. That like that name comes up a lot. I definitely want to hear about this treaty. We can talk about it next week because I'd want a chance to look at some of these documents before we just talk about them. But let's talk about what it's supposed to be. Can we bring up a YouTube video? Can you just bring up a YouTube video where they talk about it? That way we could just... You just said we can't trust YouTube videos because a lot of them are on bullshit. Right, but let's see what the bullshit they own. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what bullshit they own. They're going to be trying to trick us. Man, that have made Joe Biden the coolest president ever. Whatever president breaks that is going to be that nigga or that person. Why hasn't anyone broken it yet? There must be because a reason. the president is not the president. Like they, they, they don't have that power. Like you can't do some shit like that when you're gonna be out of office in four years. Like that's like some shit that a king could do. Mm-hmm. A president can't do that. Well, maybe there's a reason. 
I mean, that person that could do it, I guess, but it's like, you know, if you. Why didn't Trump? Trump's crazy. I think he would have done it. Mm -hmm. Who, who, uh, Hillary Clinton said that she would do it if they made her president. But she said that because, you know, she was over there eating pizza with Jeffrey Einstein. <laughs> so, you know, she had to, she had to throw whatever she could at the wall to make sure that her and Bill were safe. You know what I'm saying? But man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the rumor that's going around that there's been uh, under underground dealings with them. We have certain things. But here's my thing. Now that we can we can clone a lot of human stuff, mm -hmm. like body parts, we can grow like ears on mice. So aliens can Ear, get all- Human ears? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Um, so aliens can get all the way over here, but they don't have the technology to just clone from one. What do you mean? I mean, it seems that we have access to this tech, but we don't have this advanced tech. So uh, it's a space travel tech. So if they have this we don't advanced... Even, yeah, we don't even have aircraft tech. That's my problem. Like, our fucking spaceships are weak as fuck. These rockets that we still dealing with, we're not... We're not. You see how these things are moving? These Tic Tacs and shit? Mm -hmm. Like, we're, we're, just, we're just idiots with firecrackers. So, yeah, so that's... That's my point. It's like, okay, so we're dumb. We're really dumb, but we can still, you know, mimic, uh, you know, we can transplant a heart from a pig. We can do all this stuff and we can clone, we can clone a sheep. We could probably clone a human too. They can't, but they can get over here. What do they want with us? Like, why do they need to kidnap people? Mm -hmm. That That's just a question I had. This is the mouse ear. The legendary mouse ear. Mm. We're working with a lot of crazy stuff now, too. So, so is this one mouse with this ear, or this is a bunch like they've been doing this now? Yeah, it gotta be because that mouse got the ear on the side. I guess I got a. What is this? The best looking laboratory grown ear yet. So. You don't think that maybe just like they we need these ears, that aliens need cancer and they're growing that shit in us. And I don't think that's why we have cancer. You don't think so? No, but I like the theory that the alien race, whoever it is, is dying out and they're looking to breed with uh, human women to get a more robust hybrid um, nah, descendant. Bring us some of y'all girls too. Don't try to just come over here. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. Yeah, human women. Nope. Bring us some of them nano coochies. <laughs> Bring us nigga some nano coochie. Hmm. Well, today was interesting. That went. That got weird. That got really weird. What you mean at the end? The whole thing. You think so? Uh It's a rainy day, man. But we got some real shit talked about though. We it, did. It got real because it needs to get real sometimes. And, that, you know, that'd be the thing. That's what we pride ourselves on over here. Sometimes shit get real. It's, you know, sometimes the jokes come in at like 15%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 15%, you know? But, uh, yeah, man. Oh, and about this world. Did I tell you about the world star chain? No. So, in 2016, uh, Q World Star made me the face of World Star with making me the host of World Star TV, which was oh, really? their new venture. They were, they were to go off and do uh, the TV show, World Star TV. We would have it on every day. We had a 10-week trial run. Then after that, we would be on every day like a TRL type of situation, but just like nigga shit. Um, after, right before our 10-episode run, Q died mysteriously just out of nowhere at like a massage parlor or like somewhere they said, oh, this is a rumor, I don't know where. But he just died. He had a heart attack. Wow. And so... Before he passed away, though, when they named me the face, he took this chain off his neck and gave it to me. Now, this is like a bim baller. This bitch is like solid, like super duper, you know what I'm saying? Um, exclusive piece. In 2021, they sold an NFT of this chain for $250,000. And I'm like, I have that in my safe. 
Like his chain, I have it in my safe. So every now and then I just wear, I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks, man. I just, you know, I, I like to wear it. It's cool to have it. You know, it's like, it's priceless. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, um, literally the person who started the whole empire of world star gave me this chain before he passed away. So still, I wear it every now and then just show a lot of Q. Uh, he gave me my first hundred thousand dollars that I ever made as a lump sum. That um, that helped me to move my family and you know helped me to prove a bunch of motherfuckers wrong. Ah, you know what I'm saying? I got a hundred bad bitch. But um, yeah, man. So I keep it in my safe every now and then. I pull it out. You know, throw it on the chain and rock that bitch. Shout out to Q. Shout out to World Star and their whole family. Um, but yeah, we out of here, man. I'm CP. That's Maya. That's Amir. Amir, they, they they put a bunch of sinus infection remedies in here, man. So scroll through this chat, man. Write some of this stuff down. Let me holler at the chat real quick before I get out of here. Uh, Mika Ashley, what up, though? And welcome. It's her first uh, time in the chat. Uh, Dejanay, Tiffany Alexandra, uh, Zay Nova, what up, though? He said, uh, good job hosting the um, Chocolate Sundays. I did host Chocolate Sundays last week. It was crazy. Shout out to uh, Lonnie. Uh, who else? Avery's in the building. Dex44 is in this thing. Uh, JJC Crane. What up, though? Watch One Piece. What up, though? Brandon Trailer. What up, though? Uh, who else? TH Comedy. What it do? Eric D. What it do? Unimpressive Movement. What's the deal? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? And that's it. That's it, man. We out this bitch, man. We holler at y'all next week. As always, always the questions, never the answers, man. We don't know. We don't know what the fuck going on. We just, you know, don't kill us because we, we just we, we just poking around in the dark. Poking around in the dark. A hummingbird, B. Remember that? That nigga heard that hummingbird. I was like, God damn, you can't keep a secret from Ray Charles. You can't keep a secret from Ray Charles. This nigga was blindly counting money like, that's a five. I was like, damn, this nigga out cold. Anyway, be out this bitch. I'm a holler. Peace.